Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to another question and answer session. A 23 years old man is due to undergo a mitral valve repair for mitral regurgitation. Which of the following is a fissure of the mitral valve? So, in this question, we have to find out uh, which is a fissure of the mitral valve and Above part here, it is a scenario, a 23 years old man is due to undergo a mitral valve repair for mitral regurgitation. So it is the uh, scenario and they want to know about the fissure of the mitral valve. So we have to find out one of the options, which is a fissure of the mitral valve. Here the options, options are, it is, uh, it is closed, is marked by the first heart sound. It has two anterior cusps. The quadratic tendini attached to the anterior cusp only. The quadra tendini anchor the valve directly to the wall of the left ventricle. It is best auscultated in the left third intercostal space. So here we can see this is a heart and we have to know details about the heart valve the left side that is the mitral valve so it is the mitral valve and in case of mitral valve there are only two valve one is posterior anterior another one is posterior so anterior and posterior cusp are present in case of mitral valve and here from the left atrium to the left ventricle the blood enters to this mitral valve and here we can see the valve is connected by this white fibers and this fibers is quadra tympani so quadra tympani is attached to the mitral valve and it finally attaches to the ventricular wall by this muscular projection and this muscular projection then it goes to the Ventricular wall. So the quadratin uh, quadratinpenny uh, cannot uh, direct attach with the ventricle. It attaches with the papillary muscle. Here we can see the papillary muscle. Anteriorly on papillary muscle and posteriorly another on papillary muscle. So here it is another weak fixture, and here we can see this is the anterior cusp, and here is the posterior cusp. And this mitral valve cusp attaches to this quadratin entity then we can see the quadratic TV attaches to the papillary muscle and finally the reticular wall. So now it is now answered that it has two anterior cusps. Now we see anterior on, posterior on. Then the quadratic TV attaches to the anterior cusp only, the not anterior cusp, also the posterior cusp, the quadratic TV attaches. Then we can see the fourth one, the quadratic TV and could the valve directly to the wall of the left ventricle not true because it first attaches to the papillary muscle then to the ventricular wall and it is best auscultated in the third intercostal space it is not true because we know it is best auscultated at the fifth intercostal space and first heart sound is had by the closure of the bicuspid and tricuspid valve so this option is true so the closure of the bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve it causes the fast heart sound so this point is true uh, regarding the mitral valve 